Okay, just a short one. This really should be, you know, uh, be in the dustbin by now, but it's just one of these things that keeps um, moving along. And so, okay, here's a famous image of the Greek metallurgy god, metal, metallurgy, metallurgical Hephaestus, otherwise known as Vulcan in Roman times. Now, he has, as you notice, notice lame feet. Now, why is that? Here's some evidence of arsenic poisoning. What happens when you get arsenic poisoning, especially the feet and the hands get, well, d deformed for one of a better term. I'll put all these links in the description. Here's one, uh, Dr. Carl here from Australia. And he just, again, just going through talking about um, Greek metallurgy and some recent discoveries. And so, for instance, the uh, Greeks um, were using for bronze shields and swords. Now, when you think of bronze, you think of this very soft uh, metal that's more applicable for jewellery than it is for weaponry. But no, it is used for shields and swords and has been, and there's plenty of evidence of it. But the amazing point is that the Greek um, has it's been examined by the, you know, the, uh, spectral, um, spectral, uh, spectral analysis of the composition of both their uh, copper and bronze was that it contained arsenic. You can also use bismuth or antimony, but what happens if you add these at the right proportions, you transform the copper, essentially all the bronze, into another material. It becomes much harder, the tensile strength changes. Uh, so two birds with one stone. Firstly, the reconstructions by uh, Lerner and these other things got like absolute you know, uh, amateurs at the job and they're using copper, they're not specifying that they're using arsenical copper because it is significantly stronger and same applies to bronze and the same level of metallurgy was used by the Greeks in their steel as well so they, their, their iron uh, becomes and even hardened more because they understood not only the rough percentage but they had a seem, seemingly by the Greek times they had an absolute understanding of the exact percentage um, just a, a fraction over two and a half percent either becomes too brittle or uh, too hard in other words or or it's a little bit softer but the t type of chul, uh, chisel you use same with a Japanese sword it's two types of steel welded together what we have is a soft steel to form the blade and we have a hard steel spine to give the sword the strength and this is arsenical copper and the evidence of arsenical copper goes back to Ertzi the Iceman and uh, his uh, bronze axe come from uh, Tuscany, where it's naturally higher in arsenic. And and not only that, it just it's at a beautiful proportion. So, okay, this is the analysis of the copper. It's above 99.7%, and by far and away, the highest impurity is arsenic. So this soft copper axe is now much harder. It's comparable to iron. Uh, again, that's, you know, this is, okay, uh, the, the copper used in Egypt from the eastern desert and in the Sinai is very high in arsenic. It's arsenical copper. It is not copper. So whenever you see a demonstration where they get a pure copper rod uh, or just, or, or even bronze, pure copper and tin at a 10 to 1 ratio that does not the um, arsenical copper or arsenical bronze compared to the pure version is almost chalk and cheese the hardness and the tensile strength is completely different and across the ancient world this was known um, plenty of examples in statue and surviving of tools arsenical bronze or antimony or bismuth, bismuth can be added and that there are more than enough uh, still being used today of course going back through the middle ages and back forth but we're, we're talking ancient of ancient times um, what we have is the uh, that the copper from natural arsenic sources was highly prized because you can qu quickly tell the two of them are different there they might look the same but you hammer at a piece of wood or stone in a short time you're going to see a big difference very quickly and this is why arsenical bronze was applied throughout antiquity. So whether it was a natural form or whether through some very simple alchemy slash chemistry during the working of the metal, you can introduce 
the, uh, a higher amount of arsenic can make it noticeably harder, a much more efficient tool. So they're just, okay, I'll put these links in the description, but again, it's um, if you see reconstructions where their chisels, you know, they're using bronze chisels and they're suddenly not working after a few strikes, well, that's because they're using pure copper uh, or they're using pure bronze. If you use arsenical bronze, uh, you're basically working with iron, uh, essentially. It's a very, very close um, comparison. And again, so I'm, uh, yeah, you know, it's it's there. It's just one of these things that, you know, you've got to, you know, incorporate these things. Once you say, once you, yeah, uh, you know, if you're going to talk about a machine cut and the striations on the granite and then show a copper saw, which create, and then not show that the copper saw creates the exact same striations, you're really pushing it there, buddy. You're really, really pushing it there. Uh, but I'll, I'll leave that as it will. You seem to be coming along. And uh, with that anyway, uh, our cynical bronze, our cynical copper, it's known. The, the sources are close to these ancient sites that have them. It's, it's naturally occurring. And lots of very ancient examples of, of it being introduced. And, and we go up to the recorded period and we see, especially the Greek bronze and steel was especially famous. Um, why? Because they understood the application of arsenic to these things and they turned a relatively pissy bronze sword into a uh, a sword that was comparable to you know iron or the earlier steel in there it's again it's all out there you know it's just again don't want it some you don't want to hear it okay good on you but uh there it, there it is buddy you know and that and you know it's uh yeah arsenical bronze arsenical copper it's very much different from bronze or copper.